Wow, beautiful people, there's a lot going on right now and anxiety is high. So let me get straight to the point, okay? Um, let me tell you in what power I'm talking under, okay? Um, as soon as Diplomat Manful saw my video, he was on it. And he has given me information for you to read, to share, and to see, okay? So there has been a p committee that has been put together and it has been set up and legal options available to the victims, okay? I am going to share this article with you. Tourism Ministry, this was released yesterday. Tourism Ministry sets up committee to look into demolition of Sasepa Resort. Folks, the link for you to read this yourself is also, also in the description box. The Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture has set up a committee to ascertain the facts surrounding the demolition of the Asase Pa Resort located in the Cape Coast Metropolis of the Central Region of Ghana. According to sources, the committee's job is to examine the historical causes of the demolition and come up with ways to deal with the issues that seem to be causing anxiety amongst the diaspora community in Ghana. The source added that within two weeks, Two weeks, folks, of the scheduled committee meeting on Wednesday, March 22nd of 2023, the committee will produce a report. The Central Region Administration, the Ghana Tourism Authority, the Cape Cod Metropolitan Assembly, Asay Power Resort, and the Diaspora Coalition are amongst the committee's members. It will be recalled, folks, listen to this. It will be recalled that news broke on Monday, March 13th, 2023, that a popular diaspora resort had been demolished by the assembly. It will be recalled. In order to assess the situation, the minister dispatched a delegation to meet with the um, Central Region Minister and the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly's top officials to seek a resolution to the matter. So folks, that's the latest update. Hopefully this settles some of the anxiety that's going out in our community. Yes, I wore this shirt on purpose. You needed the community because we, we need it right now. Within two weeks of their meeting, Wednesday, March 22nd, we will have a report. So basically the beginning mid-April, we will have an re official report from the officials and the committee. Folks, stay encouraged. One of the comments I read under my video was awesome. They're saying, let us not let us not forget that Ghana is a developing country. It is a 60 year old country. And if we compare the acts, and I can only talk about the states, the United States of America. If we compare where America was in 60 years and where we as a diaspora, as investors in Ghana, it's a difference, a huge difference. So. Like I said in my first video, if Ghana's in your heart or you're already investing in Ghana and you're not turning back, we, we just got to press through, period. There, what, there's nothing else. There's nothing else. And I'm glad for Diplomat Manful and other people that are trying their best to solve this situation and bring the truth so we can end speculation and opinions, right? And my last video, I do not take anything back. We need to invest in large numbers and ensure our investment from mitig to mitigate loss. Simple. That was the message of my last video. And so this video is definitely factual, concrete, and from officials. We're going to wait two weeks from March 22nd to get the official report from the assembly. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. Bye.